Hello, and welcome to Community College News, the show where New Brunswick Community College journalism students bring you stories that affect New Brunswickers. I'm Kyle DuPont. In today's show, we look at tenant insurance and how it can help protect you and your belongings. And later, we examine heart disease, which is becoming more prevalent in women. But first, getting kids active during the winter months can sometimes be a challenge. But in Woodstock, the Recreation Department has come up with a plan to get them moving. Jill Constantine reports. There is snowshoeing, skating, sliding, and skiing. Families gathered in Woodstock on February 18th to take part in the first annual Winter Active Family Celebration. Organizer Jill Dunnett says it is a great opportunity for families to be active together. Um, I think it's important just because of you know, there's all there's the physical benefits of it, of course, but also just a good bonding time, I think, with families, and, um, you know, it's free of charge. Dunnett said that part of the day is about getting kids active. She said the best way to do that is by presenting them with fun activities. For many of the parents at the sliding hill, showing their kids that they can have fun and enjoy winter, too, is important. They hope it will motivate their children to stay active. Well, I think if they do it now with us and see adults having fun outside and being active, that they'll grow up and want to do that as well and just be natural for them and not forced. After a day filled with winter activities, those who took part were treated to a free spaghetti dinner at the Civic Centre. Plans are already in the works to make next year's event even better. In Woodstock, Jill Constantine, Community College News. Many New Brunswickers do not know that they should have tenant insurance. They may think the landlord covers the loss of property and other damages, but that is not the case. Brad Perry has more. When looking for an apartment, you have many decisions to make. You consider everything from the size to location, and yes, even the type of flooring. But there is one decision that many people forget about. Tenant insurance covers everything in your apartment that is yours. It can range from your couch to your laptop and, yes, even your telephone. Without it, the only thing covered is the apartment itself. Tenant insurance does more than protect your belongings. Insurance agent Ann McClellan says if you are ever forced from your apartment, your insurance company can help you get back on your feet. You still need a place to live. You still need to do your daily activities, eat, so they will pay for you to be placed elsewhere. Nigel Drake owns several apartment buildings. He recommends insurance to his tenants on an individual basis. When somebody moves into an apartment after they've been living in a home for several years, their, their stuff has a lot of value to them and it may be valuable stuff, so in that case I would definitely recommend it. When it comes to pricing, McClellan says that depends on different factors. All policies depend on your location how far you are away from a fire hydrant or a fire hall. Prices will also be different depending on the age of the building and how much your items are worth. At some companies, tenant insurance policies can cost as little as $10 per month. In Woodstock, Brad Perry, Community College News. Carleton County residents came out to St. Luke's Anglican Church for their monthly pancake supper. The meal included beans, sausage, pancakes and dessert for only $5. John Tate coordinated the event and says the dinners have been very successful. We'll make about uh, uh, $2,000, uh, which will uh, take off about $400 for supplies, and that's all we, we take out for it. All the proceeds from the pancake supper go towards helping families send their kids to Camp Brookwood. The fifth annual snowmobile drag racing event was held by Club 72. Spectators and participants headed out to Maductic to experience the snow and speed. John Callan has more. The Canterbury Foxbury Maductic Snowmobile Club hosted an afternoon of snowmobile racing, food, and conversation. Snowmobilers gathered to prove who was the fastest during the drag race. It, usually it's, it's better on the ice, usually have it down on the ice, but right now we don't have it, can't, not enough snow. Dow says, although this year he is unable to race, he would not turn down the chance to show his support for the club. And usually I'm racing every year, but this, today I'm not, I'm a sled for okay. It's great fun, a lot of people come out, nice days. President of the club, Lee Dow, 
says the club has great success through the drag racing fundraiser. Well, last year we had roughly 850 people, spectators, and we had like 98 snowmobiles racing. Lee Dow hopes to raise $10,000 through the event. Dow says all proceeds go towards maintaining the club. So it's a good afternoon fundraiser. It just takes a lot of hard work and a lot of, you know, all, of all of our volunteers, everybody that helps us, you know, I'd like to thank all them too for, for helping. Her. We wouldn't be able to do it without all of everybody's help. This year's event drew out many people, young and old. With good food and drag racing, Dow believes this year's fundraiser will be a success. In Meductic, John Cowan, Community College News. Dry skin and a rash are just some of the symptoms of eczema, but there are many unwritten rules for dealing with this skin irritation. Jocelyn Turner has more. Eczema is... Eczema is a type of allergic reaction. A rash that is caused by skin irritation and dry skin. Eczema is seldom talked about, but between 2 and 5 million Canadians suffer from this skin irritation. 15 to 20 percent of these sufferers are children. The number of children and adults irritated by the inflammation has tripled over the past 40 years. Charlotte Tisdale has had eczema since infancy. She has to be careful when selecting soaps and creams. She also keeps her skin from drying out. Um, I have to moisturize at least once daily um, with a very intensive cream. Like it's not just uh, your ordinary moisturizing cream. You have to really make sure you know what you're using. It's got to be hypoallergenic and unscented. Tisdale says even some of the creams and soaps that are gentle enough for sensitive skin still irritates her eczema. Vaseline, hypoallergenic, unscented, intensive care, or Eucerin is also a good one, but it stings a little bit, so I generally prefer the Vaseline version. Tisdale also says it's not just soaps and creams that can irritate the eczema. Different fabrics, different smells, different pollens in the air, can cause the eczema to come. Nicole Crusette is a health coordinating instructor. She says people should be cautious with products that contain perfume and other synthetic ingredients. So soap naturally can dry, takes off the oil off the skin and dry you even more. When buying any lotion or soap, people with eczema should avoid strongly scented products. Tisdale says using moisturizer after bathing can help keep your skin refreshed and less irritated. In Woodstock, Jocelyn Turner, Community College News. Heart disease is becoming more common in Canada. It is now the number one killer among women in Atlantic Canada. Michael Trusiak tells us why it has taken the top spot in our region. February is Heart and Stroke Month in Canada, a grim reminder that heart disease is the number one killer of women in the province. Commercials like Make Death Wait are bringing the message home. But why has it become so prevalent in women? Kathy Sherwood Orser is a consultant for wellness and culture in Woodstock. She says as women get older, they are not producing enough estrogen. That increases the risk of heart disease. Estrogen is actually a protective factor when you're younger because when we produce a lot of estrogen, it helps lower cholesterol, it helps women stay healthier. So as we age and because we're living longer, we're having longer periods of time where women aren't producing the estrogen that we need to protect ourselves. Heart disease is the number one killer among women in Atlantic Canada, but nationally cancer still claims more lives. Some people have battled both and lived to tell about it. In a matter of 16 months, I had lung removed chemo, radiation, triple bypass. In 2006, Susan McCloyd finished chemotherapy for lung cancer after having three quarters of her lung removed. Several months later, she needed a triple bypass. McCloyd couldn't believe it. Stunned, stunned. When, when, you, when you're, you know, fit, you think you're fit, you think you're healthy. Over the last 15 years, deaths from heart disease have been on the decline across Canada. Cancer, though, has remained fairly constant. In Woodstock, Mike Trusiak, Community College News. NBCC Woodstock held a food bank bingo. Each class was given a bingo card with various items on the list. Food bank bingo was something the student council came up with to help us raise food for 
our local food bank here on campus, the food bank that helps support our actual students. were asked to drop off the food they collected, along with their card, at the SRC office. Classes choosing to go for the full card could place first, second, or third, with the first place winners getting an ice cream cake for their class. Richie Rich, Betty and Veronica, Casper the Ghosts. If these names seem familiar, then you've probably read comic books. Martin Poirier looks into how comic books have changed over time. The world of comic books is evolving. They are no longer reserved for kids. Many are aimed for a mature audience. People who read comic books in the 70s and 80s are now middle-aged and are introducing their kids to comic books. Um, I got three of them for my birthday. I got Spider-Man, Carnage 1, 2, and 3. Comic books have existed in North America since the mid-1800s in what historians dub the Platinum Age of comic books. It wasn't until the golden year of 1938 that the first issue of Superman turned comic books into a major industry. Many people think comic book readers and collectors buy just for the artwork, but today they offer storylines that are based on real-life events. Afghanistan or you know poverty, uh, racism, stuff like that that's a lot more prominent than before everything was like hunky-dory and very lowbrow. Reading one book will take you 10, 15, 20 hours where you read a couple of comics in half an hour, put it down, you get a good story. From figurine collectibles, t-shirts and toys, comic book characters have a strong presence in society. Hollywood has capitalized on the comic book market. Three superhero blockbusters are expected to hit theaters this summer. Even the combo companies like DC is owned by Warner Brothers and now Disney just bought Marvel. So now all like, the bigger companies in the world are really investing into it. Like vinyl records, comic books thrived during and after the Second World War. The effect that comic book has on other medias will make it a lasting thing. In an era of smartphones and electronic gadgets, it seems the heroes and villains who talk in word balloons are here to stay. In Moncton, Martin Poirier, Community College News. That's our show for today. If you have an interesting story idea, email us at jschoolmbcc at gmail.com. For more of our work, visit us at jschoolmbcc.ca. Thanks for watching.